What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Greg. Go crazy, go crazy. Yes, man, we're back with another video. Now, before you do anything, go to press that like button for your boy. Go to press the subscribe because we still out here grinding 400 subs. We're almost there. And turn on the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video. Now, as you can see by the title and the thumbnail, they did release the 2K23 blog today. Now, I know y'all done probably seen everybody else's video talking about this and about that, you know, but that can be their video. But mine's, you know, me. We get straight to business over here. We ain't playing no games with nobody. We just gonna tell it how it is. We're gonna break it down. You know, I don't really get too hype about the blog because it tells us about the game. But y'all already know when we touch the game, it's a whole different story every time. They say this badge work, this work, that work. It be like that until the community touches the game. When we touch the game and find out what's really in the game, that's when we'll know how the gameplay actually is. Now, I put the important things first. Now, first of all, let's say this. Real play percentage is not a thing online. You can't use real play percentage online anymore. Boy, do you know how many times they have bailed people out because they have on real player percentage? If you use real player percentage in 2K22, you suck. I'm sorry. You suck. I don't care what you say. Like, that's a terrible feature. I don't even know why they had that in the game. Like... I don't even know why it was an online feature. Like, that's terrible. I done lost a couple of games because of that. But I'm glad that's out the game. So we don't got to worry about that anymore. Now let's get into the next news they dropped. Mike Wayne, he done dropped a lot today. I mean, y'all already know. Y'all already drop a lot. Then he go back in the hibernation. But this next news, you know, Intimidator is out the game. Now, there is a new batch called Angle that is a replacement for it. I don't know how that would work. We will have to see how that works. Now, Intimidator is out the game. They introduced Intimidator, I think, in like 2K20. 2K20 was the first year they introduced Intimidator. It worked on 2K20. 2K21, it didn't matter what it was because everybody was rim running. You could do anything in 2K21 next year. I don't know about current gen if it worked. All oh, that slidey defense, I did not play that game. I'm glad I did not play that game. 2K21 wasn't good for either PS4 or PS5. It wasn't good for either one. But I know in 2K22, Intimidator did not matter. If we being honest, that badge did not matter in 2K22 either. Because even when you guarded people with Intimidator, it did nothing. Like if they had on, if you was guarding a 5 7 and they had on Mismatch Expert, it meant nothing i mean not a thing they were still gonna shoot over you and mismatch expert i'm glad about that badge too i'm so glad y'all see later on in this blog or in this video when i post a little blog y'all see what i'm talking about later on but i am glad that is finally you know not a shooting it's not a shooting badge anymore and also bullet pass is going it's also taught to your playmaking accuracy now i'm glad about that too because why do I need a badge to pass fast? I'm a guard. I'm a guard, bro. Why do I need a badge to pass? That made no sense. That or glue hands. They also took glue hands out too. Like, I don't understand. Those two badges, it was a lot of useless badges. But those two, they like really made no sense to like spend your badge points on regular stuff that NBA players are supposed to do. Every NBA player can pass. Pass the ball. Every NBA player can catch the ball. There is no NBA players out that can't catch the ball. If you're in the NBA and you can't catch a basketball, why are you in the NBA? Like, like, let's be honest. Let's be honest. Come on. If you're in the NBA and you can't catch a basketball, like, how? How did you even get to that level? But those two badges, they were useless. If you're going to be honest, they were very useless. They were useless. Like, I'm so glad they took those out of the game. There's a lot of other badges that took out the game, too. They also took out Sniper. Oh, my goodness. Boy, I'm so glad that badge out the game. This is the whole list. If you want to pause the video, look at the list. You can do that. But this is the whole list. They did add Limitless Range back. They took out Limitless Spot. They switched Mismatch Expert from a shooting badge to a playmaking badge. And now for Mismatch Expert, it helps you beat 
the taller defenders who are mismatched on you one on one. So basically, it helps you beat your defender if they're taller than you. Basically, I mean, I can understand that. That's a better description for the badge. I mean, and they also added some new badges too. It's a whole long list of new badges. Hopefully, people actually use them and they are not useless. Like sometimes some of these other badges are. Y'all know how 2K is. They like to add new badges and sometimes they be useless. Like let's just be honest, they be useless. They also took out Lucky Seven. They also took out Hot Zone. I don't know why they took out Hot Zone and many other badges. And they also reworked and tweaked a lot of different badges too. Now, as you can see, this is the shot meter. Now they have different versions of the shot meters. You can unlock 15 new shot meters. Do I know why? No. Are people gonna use the shot meters? No. Cause when the game comes out, everybody just gonna turn their shot meter off. So the fact that they put in 15 new shot meters is, you know, I mean, if the casual player wanna use a shot meter, that's them. Me and majority of the community, they just gonna turn it off. Nobody really using to look or to use 15 different shot meters. I'm gonna be honest, don't nobody care about no shot meter. That's just being honest. Don't nobody care about the shot meter. Nobody. Only the bombs care about it. Bombs. Let's be honest. The bombs care about the shot meters. Real people don't. Now, for this article, they did change the shooting. Now, this really determines how well you shoot. Now, if you shoot early, your shot's going to be high. If you shoot late, your shot's going to be flat. If you shoot regularly, your shot's going to be like in the mid range, like in between, really. And you really can't tell if you got a green until it get close to the rim. That's a different thing they changed too. Now me, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I'm really gonna not gonna lie to you. I'm okay with that. That's not too bad. That's a good feature actually. Now they also have a new thing called adrenaline boost. Now there's these three little bars, as you can read by the description. It's like under your stamina meter. Now as you can see in this clip right now, it's those three little bars on the Lonzo's feet. You see it right there. Those little three little bars. Those little itty bitty bars. Now, these bars can be good and they can be bad. It all depends on how we have to see how they work. Now, let's just say, for instance, your player, it's like 10 seconds left on the shot clock on the tools right now. Your player, you know, he's tired. You can just use one of those bars, I mean, and your player gets all his energy or he can just get like a turbo speed. I mean, it all depends how this works and how people use it. Let's just see how this works. I mean, it sounds great right now. I'm not too mad about it. And they also have it where if you buy like an animation on one build, you don't have to buy it for multiple builds as long as you meet that requirement. Now, that's a good feature that they added. I'm not going to lie. That's a good feature. I mean, it saves you VC. I mean, that's not a bad feature right there. It's not bad. As long as don't nobody figure out a way to glitch it. We good. I ain't going to lie. We good. That's a good feature I added. I'm not going to lie to you. I see they got that idea from NBA Live. That's a good feature. Now, this is related to the shot, the shot speed, you know, the shot height, how high your shot go, defensive immunity, how good they can contest you on defense, and timing impact, which also, you know, fluctuates on how good you shoot the ball during the time you have when you release your jump shot. Now, all that goes into effect when you're shooting the ball now. Now, I think that's better because, I mean, it may shoot a little hard, but we also have to see how the community adjusts to it and also if they don't patch it. Now, they also said that driving dunks and flashy dunks help boost your takeover. That's, I mean, that's not good, but, I mean, it can be good. It depends on how people use it. But me, I'm going to still take my little basic two-hand quick easy dunks i'm not finna risk doing no windmill out of nowhere so i can get blocks they say that's good but we all know how 2k community is don't nobody actually do windmills or flashy dunks in the park we don't never see that and they also redesigned the team takeover now for team takeover it can't just be one person getting team take on the team so everybody can get it now everybody has to have a little bit of that takeover bar you know close to it or something they just gotta have something on their bar you know something on their bar for somebody to activate team take it's not just a one person thing it's a whole team thing now i like that i like the way that's redesigned you know that's a good feature that actually means team takeover i mean it actually means it's definition now but they also have a new shot chart now if y'all want to look at this shot chart I don't know what this means, you know, hopefully we get more information on it as time goes on, as we get closer until 2K23, 
But yeah, man, that's really it for the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more news when your boy Greg go crazy, go crazy. And I'm out, man. Peace.